Hello Libra and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 15th to the 21st of May 2023 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. We have view from above. Get the big picture. This is the Sacred Traveller Oracle deck. I'm going to pull you a message from the angels. This is the Archangel Michael deck. Message for Libra, please, for, for the week. Okay. Don't give up on love, number nine. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. And it's linked with Get the Big Picture. All right, Libra, let's see what we have. Um, this week I'm using Morgan Greer. What do we have for Libra? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for the week. Message for our lovely Librans for the week. Thank you. Message for Libra. The Hierophant. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, King of Rods or Wands, Six of Cups, King of Cups, and we have the world. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for Libra for the week. Let's clarify the Hierophant. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Five of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Heart and Mind Energy. Mm. I feel you're torn in two. Uh, there's a kind of indication here that you're kind of torn in two between the heart and the mind. What the, what the heart wants and what the mind, uh, that reason and logic. There's a, just a strong energy here, Libra, of there will be some kind of decision to make, but the heart wants what it wants, but then it's applying logic and reason over that. Because it's for your highest good. That's where reason kicks in. We have the Five of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Regret, someone mourning what's gone. Wanting to rebuild. Asking you to have faith in them. And with the Hierophant here, it, it can be a card of faith, spiritual faith. It can be linked with long-term committed relationships, marriage as well, or that having been present. Um, but it can also be that energy of uh, when we ask for meaning, uh, search for meaning, answers, spiritual wisdom, advice, guidance, even talk to a spiritual mentor. So again, it might well be somebody is advising you or mentoring you in some way. But I feel that you're, you're kind of torn between the heart and the mind. Uh, a strong sense of the heart wants what it wants, but then this logic and reason kicks in. Yes, but is it for my highest good? 
what's the experience I've had with this person before? Do I want to go down that road again? Is applying logic and reason to, to when your heartstrings are being pulled in some way. I feel there's a strong energy here, Libra, of someone returning to your life here. Um... And wanting to start over because they miss you. They're hoping that all is not lost in this situation. With the three of pentacles, they want to rebuild. They want to reforge, you know, a, a relationship with you. It might well be that they're presenting themselves as friends as well. But the guys is love. That's for sure. I think you know that anyway. They have ulterior motives. And that's what I'm seeing for you. Now, these two kings can be the same, but they could be two different people as well. If it's the same person, this is somebody who is taking action because they see you thriving. They see you attractive, loving life, potentially on your own and even attracting love. Uh, so they're taking action. They're, I feel they're coming back into your life to start over, to start over, to start things over with you again, because that's what this energy is. Uh, the Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles wanting to plant new seeds with you, wanting to start over, wanting to build something new with you. I feel something ended with this person before, but they're coming back into your life in some way. And again, these two kings offering love. Uh, this is a promise to, to make you happy. Uh, again, the Eight of Pentacles, willing to do what it takes. I'll prove myself. I'll, I'm really willing to work at this. I'm really willing to put the, I'll put the time and energy into this this time to make it work. And a sense here with the world, can we draw a line under this situation and start over? Start, you know, put the past behind us, draw a line under this and start a brand new beginning. Is what I'm seeing here, Libra. Uh, because again, the Nine of Pentacles can be where you're you're thriving, you're feeling attractive, you're loving life, you're attracting love as well. I mean, this is somebody self-love, loving life, can provide for themselves financially. So you choose love. You don't necessarily need love. It's the love that you choose in this energy. So again, the King of Wands, if it's the same person, male or female with this King, though it is slightly leaning more on the masculine energy or male energy, uh, of this person pr being presented to you. This is the energy here of somebody who is, is coming back into your life because they see you thriving. When they left, when they walked away, when things ended between you, for example, however that happened, uh, you didn't crumble. Actually, it was a time where you came into your own and that's what they see. And now they see that, they regret their actions and they want you back. That's the energy here. They're asking you not to give up on them. For others of you, you already have uh, some a new uh, kind of new suitor. Uh, King of Rods can be somebody who is confident, go-getting, driven, exciting to be around. Downside, downside of King of Wands can be a little bit egotistical. But it might well be that this person wants to start something with you. Again, King of Rods can be a little bit um, very much linked to passion, desire, chemistry, attraction with this person but a new spark potentially with this person here, Libra. Now here's the thing, the other message that I'm getting, this King of Cups coming back into your life, this is a soul connection, to start something new with you because of jealousy. They see you potentially with somebody new or having the potential with somebody new or hearing about that and they're coming back into your life almost kind of like to say, but I, I promise I'll work through the differences that we had together. Can we just draw a line under this and start over, start afresh? And that's what this person is doing because they see you um, attracting another person, at least one other person in terms of love, romance, relationships. It could be the early stages even of a relationship or the potential of one. They suspect somebody's motives, that's for sure, if that's the case. And it's almost like they want to mark their territory, you know, they are not prepared to let you go. They want to rebuild. They regret losing you. 
And this is the energy that I'm seeing. You're going to be torn between the heart and the mind because the heart wants one thing, but the mind is kicking in here to tell you, actually, I need to get that view from above and decide what's right for me. It does feel if you take a step back, you'll get that perspective on what to do next. Interesting reading, but that's definitely the message I'm getting for you. Let's see what we have for Libra. What do we have for Libra, please, Angel Spirits Guides? This person is promising happiness. I'll do what it takes to make you happy. Can we draw a line under this and build back up? Okay, what do we have for Libra? Interesting, we have cleanse. Cleanse can be linked with forgiveness. It can be about releasing old, the old, uh, detoxing from things that don't serve you. It can be about wiping the slate clean as well. So however this resonates for you, your body, mind and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional and physical cleansing. That's what I have for you, Libra, for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.